I have watched Happy Gilmore for the first time as of a couple hours ago. And I knew some of the funniest lines going into it, but I didn't know what the context was. <laughs> My personal favorites are, You're gonna die, clown! Which I can't say at its full capacity because it's really early in the morning as I film this. And I don't want to wake my neighbors and get a noise complaint. But that's been my favorite line. I also like <laughs> when he's talking to Shooter McGavin. I eat pieces of shit like it for breakfast. You eat pieces of shit for breakfast? No. <laughs> and of course the fight with Bob Barker. The price is wrong, bitch. I know it seems pointless to quote these famous lines, but it's really, really fun. And my first exposure to Happy Gilmore was very indirect. I used to watch Shaolin Showdown crack videos where they dub the characters with these famous movie lines. Nowadays, I would get a copyright strike. But Happy Gilmore was always in there. <laughs> so that was my first exposure to it. Now I finally have seen the full film. My first Adam Sandler movie, well, I watched Eight Crazy Nights as a really little kid, found it hilarious as a kid, not as much as an adult, but I do admit I have a soft spot for some of the songs. I also saw him in Click, which he is a surprisingly really dramatic actor. It's not, he doesn't just do comedies. And I'm, I'm actually surprised while Click did have a cop-out ending, it still got really heavy and dramatic and had some really good messages about what parts of your life do you live, what really makes a full life. But it's, it, it, it gave me something to think about even though I was really young when it came out. Granted, most of my exposure to Adam Sandler was his later work. Uh, Grown Ups, uh, Jack and Jill, so I had a really negative opinion of his work for a very long time because I saw mostly the immature tropes and the the heartlessness of his characters really amplified and even I didn't even like Eight Crazy Nights as much as an adult because I have a soft spot for the animation I have a soft spot for some of the songs but it's really really hard to root for his characters as many critics have pointed out even a lot of people say he's such a nice guy in real life so I was really hesitant even though I knew okay this is a comedy great it's on Netflix and it's a lot of fun a lot of the tropes in his work are there but for some reason they are I think it's because his character goes through genuine character development he cares for his grandma really early on by the way is adorable and there is character development there is a genuine heart to it and I do like movies with heart or and I can kind of see the, why someone like Happy Gilmore would be a success. Because he, he's he got this, he's brash, he's angry, he punches people. But granted, people love that stuff in entertainment, so it makes sense that he draws a crowd. The movie genuinely is, it's a, it's a unique story. It's got its own twist to it. The one-liners are great. And it's fun. I like the characters. The... Shooter McGavin's really, really funny. I I like the grandma. The love interest, he and the love interest have a genuine chemistry even early on, which is actually really sweet. I don't really like forced romance subplots in movies because a lot of them don't seem necessary and I've seen so many where the couple doesn't have chemistry or they're just going through the motions. But here it is, the chemistry's there from the beginning and it is really, really sweet. Though I, especially, I could see why his first girlfriend left him, though, by the way. Because someone who gets angry as easily as he does and as violently angry as he does, I'd be afraid he was going to kill me. So I was, I was, yeah, I mean, the, she, she leaves in a very confident way, so I'm, I'm actually kind of impressed. And then he has that really funny breakup scene over the, <laughs> the intercom. It ends up getting a... And I actually like the joke where it, uh, this old lady comes in and thinking it's a proposition for her and he actually goes through with it. That's hilarious. Also, 
the ridiculous violence is pretty great. <laughs> it's funny, it's sometimes kind of hard. It's funny, because as much as I like violence in fiction, there is a, there is still a limit to what I'll put up with. Especially if I see kids getting genuinely hurt. I mean, him... Uh, Happy Gilmore beating up the caddy, that was <laughs> borderline for me. It was a little hard to watch that. But that's just an example of my personal limits when it comes to comedy. But Chubbs... <laughs> but Chubbs' death was very funny with the alligator, and when he... When he first discovers his good long swing and he hits <laughs> the family with the with the golf ball, that was hilarious. So there was most of the jokes I thought landed really well. I'm I'm a big sucker for one liners and it it's it's likable. It's fun. I would probably just spend the rest of the time quoting the movie <laughs> if I went on any longer. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. I see why it's considered as good as it is. And I thank Shallon Showdown for originally bringing it to me.